Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my TNH Outdoors Mummy Sleeping Bag. It is both lightweight, affordable, and as an added bonus, it's water resistant. Check it out. Hey guys, so before I get started on this review on the TNH Outdoors Mummy Sleeping Bag, I want you to check out some of my other videos, hit that subscribe button, and come be a part of my adventures. Thank you for watching. Okay, so when I watch reviews on gear items, the one thing I want to know is the experiences people have had with the gear. So I'm going to tell you three experiences I had with it. Uh, the first time I used it was at Charlton Lake. Uh, that's a video I have. You can watch it right here. Finish this video first. It's right here. Um, at Charlton Lake, one thing you don't see in that video was that I had fallen out of my kayak. I was getting out of it put my right foot down on solid ground. I was still in the water, but put my white, right foot down on solid ground. It was maybe a little less than ankle deep. I went to put my left foot down and there was a ledge that I didn't notice and I dropped in. Uh, I was wet. I was wet from about the waist down. I was freezing. Uh, I got my fire going. That helped a little bit, but I was, again, I had gotten so cold and it was raining the whole time. And yeah, I, I, it was a miserable time. Uh, about 10 o'clock at night, maybe, I climbed into my sleeping bag. And I took all my wet clothes off. I climbed into my sleeping bag and laid there shivering for what felt like an eternity. I, I had debated on getting up and leaving and just walking out and coming back for my kayak the following day and the rest of my gear the following day. Uh, about 20 minutes after I had climbed into the sleeping bag, I started realizing I was warming up toes again, I wasn't shivering as bad, the temperature that night was about 35 degrees, this thing held up, it got me warm, which is exactly what I needed it to do, it was fantastic, I ended up sleeping super well that night, the next time I used this thing was Camellia Lake, I'm going to point out the sleeping bag is only rated at 32 degrees, so I have no idea how the rating system of sleeping bags work, but I was at Camellia Lake, it was 9 degrees colder than this thing's rating. It had gotten so cold that night, the lake had frozen. I didn't have a problem. I was nice and warm. I had the same setup here. wasn't using a, a tent or a hammock or a bivy or anything. I had just this setup, and I stayed nice and warm all night long. At about 4, I woke up that morning, and I had to pee really bad. Unzipped my sleeping bag, stuck my head out, and realized how absolutely cold it was. The sleeping bag held up. The next time I used it was at Drift Creek, right here. Uh, that night, I had used, again, this same setup, and it had started raining at some point during the night. I forget what time. But it rained all, pretty much all night. My fire had gone out. I woke up dry in this sleeping bag. The outside was a little wet because <clears throat> it was raining, and the moisture in the air was really thick. When I woke up, I was completely dry. Sleeping bag was a little damp, but the water resistance held up in it. I was warm. I slept really comfortably. So those are my three experiences with this sleeping bag that I wanted to show you guys. I have a few others, but they aren't quite as dramatic as those. So the sleeping bag uh, retails on Amazon for $40, which is super cheap. Uh, I forget how much this thing weighs. I'll put the weight in the... Um, actually, I'll put it as a subtitle right here. And then also put it right. If you're looking for a lightweight, affordable sleeping bag that holds up, this is it. I had it down way below its rating and it worked fine. I've had it in the rain. It's worked fine. I have felt like I was on the verge of hypothermia and it worked fine. It, it warmed me up. It did everything it's supposed to do. So, check them out. TNH Outdoors. 32 degree mummy bag. TNH makes a few other products that are really good. This is a good sleeping bag. For what they're charging for it, you're getting way more. It's it is. I I, I have slept really warm in this thing. It is a little broad or it is a little tight in the, around the shoulders. Uh, even for me, who's not really a broad shouldered guy. Okay, guys, I'm wrapping this up. Um, I like the sleeping bag. I'm going to continue to use this sleeping bag. I have never had a problem with it. It's kept me warm. It's kept me dry. It's got me warm in near hypothermia. It's a great sleeping bag. 
If you're looking for something super affordable, $40, it's great. Guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't like doing these reviews at all, but I do feel it is necessary. So get out there, have your own adventures, and I will see you next time.